Now we have to do multiplication and division of sine numbers. But this one's easy. We still take our rules and separated it into like signs and unlike signs. So I have like signs and I have unlike signs. In multiplication and division, like signs, the result is a positive. Unlike signs, the result is a negative. All right, so like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. So, let's say I'm multiplying. Two times three. So now, two sets of parentheses with no sign in between means multiplication. You can't mix it up with what we just did. If I put a plus or minus in there, that's addition subtraction. So I didn't see no sign, I multiply. They're both pluses, like signs are plus. If I want to multiply negative three times negative four, I multiply, I get a 12. I see I have like signs, it's gotta be a plus. If I have unlike signs, negative two, times 5. I have unlike signs, I get a 10, it's going to be negative. The same thing for division. Let's say I have 6 divided by 3. I have like signs, I get a 2. Let's say I have negative 10 divided by negative 5 like signs are plus, I get positive two. If I have unlike signs, let's say I have 15 divided by negative three. I get a five, unlike signs are negative. So like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. So the only thing that can be confusing is when I have zeros. Let's say I have zero divided by three and three divided by zero. Zero divided by three means I have zero divided by three. If I divided three into zero is zero. Zero times anything is zero. I get zero. Everything's fine. This one. Let's say I take three divided by zero. Let's say you say it's zero. Zero times zero is zero. Subtract. I have a remainder of three. First of all, the remainder is not allowed to be bigger than the divisor. Something's wrong. But looks what's special in this case. What if I put a two? I would get two times zero is zero. Hmm, same thing. What if I put eight? I would have eight times zero is zero. Huh, I could put anything. I could put 25 times zero is zero. I could put 135 times zero is zero. So actually, it's any answer. So years ago, we used to call the answer infinity. But now with computers and everything, it creates an impossible situation. There is no answer. So I cannot divide by zero. So three divided by zero is undefined. It creates an impossibility. In real life, this is really important. Before I was teaching, I was a computer programmer, and I had to keep in my head all the time that you could never divide by zero because it creates an impossible situation. So when I wrote a program, I had to know that no matter what anybody did, they could never divide by zero or it would crash. So you just have to fix the code but an easy way for you to remember. 
If zero is over the line, it's fine. The answer is zero. If zero is under the line, it's undefined. So if zero is over the line, it's zero. If it's under the line, it's undefined. All right, so let's just practice a couple multiplication and division. But I think you'll find this easy. Remember, multiplication and division, like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. So let's say I have 15 divided by negative 5. Uh, let's make it 10 divided by, we'll make this both negative. 3, multiplication, 8 multiplied by negative 2. 4, let's make it 7 times negative 3. Let's make 5. Uh, multiply 6 times negative 3. And we just made a couple more divisions. Um, let's make it 0 divided by negative 9. And let's make it negative 15 divided by 0. Okay, so here we go. Like signs are O, and we have to add one more. Let's make it negative 3 divided by negative 3. Okay. First one. Multiplication division. Like signs are positive, unlike or negative. So I'm going to get a 3, and is it positive or negative? negative, unlike signs. 2 into 10 is going to be 5, like signs are plus. 2 eighths are 16, and it's going to be negative. 3 sevens are 21, unlike signs, has to be negative. 3 sixes are 18, Unlike signs, negative. Then, you got to remember which is which. If zero is over the line, it's zero. If zero is under the line, it's undefined. So, if I have zero, I start with nothing. I end up with nothing. Negative 15 divided by zero. Undefined. Anything divided by itself, it's going to be 1, and you got to decide if it's positive or negative. Like signs are positive, it's positive 1. 